This morning, our devotion is brought to us by Jamie Shottish. If you don't know her, she's grown up here in the church, her and her family. Uh, she actually plays the violin in our orchestra each and every Sunday at 9.30 and 11. And uh, I'm excited to hear what Jamie has for each and every one of us this morning. Hi, I'm Jamie Shottish, and today I'll be talking about hope. My favorite Bible passage is Romans 8, verses 18 to 30, which is called Present Sufferings and Future Glory. And it's, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed to us. For the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed. For the creation was subject to frustration, not by its own choice, but by the will of the one who is subjected to it, in hope that the creation itself will be liberated from its bondage to decay and brought into the freedom and glory of the children of God. We know that the whole creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up from the present time. Not only so, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for our adoption to sonship. The redemption of our bodies, for in this hope we were saved, but hope that is seen is not hope at all. Who hopes for what they already have? But if we hope for what we do not have, we wait for it patiently. In the same way, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts know the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. And we know that in all things God works for the good for those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. For those God foreknew he has predestined, to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And those he predestined, he also called. Those he called, he also justified. Those he justified, he also glorified. This verse means a lot to me because of my struggle with depression and anxieties. Some days are dark and I feel hopeless, whether something happened to upset me or I'm just having a dark day. Verse 28 is something that's always meant a lot to me, that all things work for the good for those who love God and follow him according to his purpose. This specific verse has meant a great deal to me throughout the past five years or so when my mental health has really amped up for the worse. Even in my darkest days, it's comforting to know that God is constantly working on me, that there is purpose in the pain that I'm feeling, and that one day that purpose will be revealed to me. God is not doing anything to hurt me. He is constantly working on me, helping me to grow and strengthen my faith and hope in Him. This verse helps me a lot to know that God has not forgotten me, that He is constantly working on me for the good. Though it may not feel good at the time, one day this purpose for the pain will be revealed to me and I will be a better person because of it. I would say 2020 has left a lot of people with a lack of hope. And with all the crazy things that has been going on throughout this year, it has discouraged a lot of people. 2020 has been a big roller coaster for me. I lost my grandmother in April, April and have struggled with my mental health more than ever. On the flip side, I got engaged, was promoted at work, and entered my senior year of my undergrad degree. I've hit a lot of milestones, some good and some bad, but the bad things have outweighed the good in my brain. I've been struggling with hope and my faith for months. I've had a lack of hope. There have been some days that I felt completely alone and forgotten. More often than not, it feels like God has forgotten me in the midst of my struggles. Before this year, I was a very positive person. I always had a positive mindset and looked for the good in every situation, good or bad. This year has been pretty different and difficult. I've had a hard time feeling hopeful of anything good in my life. This is something I'm working on every day, reading my Bible to find some answers or even for a little bit of comfort talking to friends or family to find some peace and doing different things that relieve stress like journaling and exercising. I'm trying my best to regain this hope and it's a slow and steady process. A lack of hope has started to leave me in a dark place because I feel very lonely. It has made a huge impact on my life and my faith. I'm working on these things every day, but it's a slow process where some days are better than others and I am a work in progress. Hope looks like a few different things for me. 
being happy and positive, looking for the bright side of things and not being pessimistic, praying more often and having more faith and trust in God and that he is constantly working on me, feeling more connected and close to God and not worrying about what he's doing in my life so much and just leaving it all to him. Usually I'm very easygoing, but I've been more on edge lately and forgetting to think about God and talk to him and know that he's working on me. To me, hope looks like giving it all to God, trusting him in my darkest days and knowing that he is constantly with me and working on me and truly believing that he is in control at all times.